Have you ever wondered why some people like David Goggins or Arnold Schwarzenegger, they're able to accomplish anything they set their eyes on? While others, they have ambitions just as big as David Goggins or Arnold Schwarzenegger's, yet they don't hit their goals. Instead, they battle anxiety, self-doubt. They have negative thoughts plaguing their mind haunting their minds like a ghost throughout their day, and that affects their confidence and how they view themselves. So the question is, what separates these super achievers that successfully hit their goals, day in and day out, time after time, from the men who kind of cower in fear and ultimately live a mediocre life, and under a life where they feel underaccomplished? Well, what if I was to tell you there was just one thing that separates these top performers from these low performers. And if you don't have your dream life yet, it's likely because you don't have this one thing yet. So what is this one thing? It's the correct programming of their mind. But look, this isn't ordinary mindset information here. This is based on brain science, how the human brain works. You see, what happens is most people, they try and change their life. So they declare to themselves, I'm gonna start working out consistently, eating healthy consistently, or being productive consistently. And then it goes great for a few days. You know, you're really motivated to improve yourself in your life. And you start actually changing your actions, behaviors, and you feel fantastic about yourself. But that's short-lived because after one week you get you're not motivated or you feel tired one day and you tell yourself that I've been doing a fantastic job I deserve one day off so you take a break but then what happens the next day well you decide well I'm gonna get back to it next week I already, already took one day off you know and ultimately you land back where you started with zero results feeling disgusted about yourself because you can't seem to stick to your own word. And on top of it, whenever you go on social media, you see all your friends excelling in life. And you might find that instead of being happy for them, you feel terrible instead because you're so insecure about how your life is panning out. And the worst part is, is you probably have these visions of grandeur. You know that you're destined for greatness but it almost feels like you have a mental barrier that's blocking you from getting there. Now, the thing is, it's not your fault. You've been fed lies from the motivational industry. They keep telling everyone that in order to change your life, all you need is more willpower and motivation. Cool. How has relying on willpower and motivation panned out for your life so far? Did it work for you last New Year's when you told yourself you're gonna work out consistently or eat healthy consistently? No, I'm gonna guess not. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here watching this video right now. And again, the reason why this is broken is because you're consciously trying to change your life, but you need to tap into your subconscious mind. You see, your subconscious mind controls 90 to 95% of the, percent of the decisions that you make in your entire day. But you might be, you know what? Let me give you an example here. Have you ever had one of those times where you're driving home from work and maybe you're in traffic and you zone out? You start thinking about what you have to do when you get home or what happened at work. And then all of a sudden, you're back at your destination, you're back at home and you're like, wait, how the heck did I get here? I wasn't consciously driving. And you're right. You weren't consciously driving, but your subconscious mind took over. Now, but you might be wondering, well, how did my subconscious mind get me to take action? And the answer is through your habits. Now, when you tell yourself that you're gonna change your action behaviors, you're using your conscious mind, but you've already programmed your subconscious mind to not do those actions and behaviors. So then you get into something that I call the brain battle, conscious mind saying make change, Subconscious mind saying, nope, let's not make change. And your subconscious mind, it views this habit as a survival mechanism. 
It literally thinks you have this habit in place so that you can survive. And as you've already discovered, like this is why you end up falling back into your old patterns and ruts is because your subconscious mind wins this brain battle. It makes it so you don't have change. And that's why no matter how motivated you are, unless you program your subconscious mind, you're not gonna get the change. And most people, what they do is they get trapped in life. I call them the trapped stream beans because that's what they are. They're trapped in a mediocre life. They want to improve themselves in their life, but they keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Einstein defines that as insanity. And that's what these trapped stream beans are. They're insane. Not really. I mean, I, you got to respect them because they want to improve themselves, but they've just been fed a broken formula by the motivational industry. So again, it's not really their fault. It's the motivational industries. But the good news is that all you need to do is to escape this trap is program your subconscious mind to work with your conscious mind. We call this acquiring the mind of a conqueror. And once you do this, you're gonna to stick to your word like glue. Your life's gonna to start to come together. You're gonna to start getting the body you want, the body you feel comfortable in. You're gonna start eating healthy and have more mental alertness, more energy to carry you, through, carry you throughout your day so that you can tackle your to-do list and really progress your life. And the best part is once you start to do these things that improve your life, you start to feel amazing about yourself. You gain self-worth, you love yourself. You know, that's why those times when you work out two or three days in a row last New Year's, you start to feel amazing about yourself, right? And that's why you feel so bad about yourself when you fall off that because you know that other path is meant to improve yourself. That's the right path for you to take. That's really because over the past few million years, as our species has evolved, we've, we're on this pursuit of happiness and enjoyment and joyful life. And joyful? Happy life is happy and joyful life, a fulfilling life. And that's why when you do things that align with that pursuit and happiness, like hanging out with your friends or your girlfriend or doing something that's meaningful to you, you start to feel happy. It's literally a motivational system that we have ingrained to us. And that's also why when you fall off your word to do those things that will improve your life, you feel crummy about yourself because you know the path you chose isn't helping you get to that pursuit and happiness in a fulfilling life. Now, look, once you acquire the mind of a conqueror, you're gonna gain some internal confidence, the self-love, the self-belief. It opens up your perspective to life. You're gonna to start to actually go after your ambitions because you truly believe you can hit them. And as you start making progress, you're gonna just get stronger and stronger. Your confidence is gonna grow like a wildfire that's being lathered in gasoline. And ultimately it's gonna enable you to be in a fun loving attitude where you can joke with your friends, your coworkers, and your family. But look, I don't wanna talk your ear off on this video. So if you're interested in acquiring the mind of a conqueror, and again, if you wanna see some of the case studies of all these other ambitious men that are like you that have acquired the mind of a conqueror. In fact, we have people coming in here. One of, one of our students, Steven, after he acquired the mind of a conqueror, he started his own business and within two months, it's been wildly profitable. His entire perspective in life in a matter of three months from acquiring the mind of a conqueror and having this mindset for two months after that, he changed his career path, followed his passion, started a business, and is, it's now profitable. We have some people like Jose coming in here, lacking confidence. He's super anxious when talking, about, talking to anyone, especially girls. He acquired the mind of a conqueror and started striking up conversations with people on his own. People coming in here with a lot of negative thoughts, suicidal thoughts, some people, they even said. And after that, they said their perspective on life changed. They're more happy than they've ever been. And they feel hopeful for the future. 
So if you wanna see some case studies or if you wanna acquire the mind of a conqueror, there's a challenge, seven day challenge. Click the link below, learn more about it. And if it's a good fit for you, you can join us. I offer a 200% money back guarantee. If not, no problem. And I'm just glad you're here with me in this video. In fact, if you made it this far in the video, it would mean the world to me if you could officially join us by crushing that subscribe button, hitting that like button, and introduce yourself in the comments. I love seeing who's a part of this community. And if you have an area of your life that's holding you back that you think that I can help you with, let me know what it is in the comments or just introduce yourself and let me know one of your big goals that you have. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully, I'll see you in the challenge.